Alright guys, so one of the videos that you guys have been requesting me to do for a very long time now is you have wanted to see if you can weld with 9 volt batteries. So I went out and I got a couple 9 volt batteries. Each one of these boxes has 12 9 volt batteries, so I just got a couple. Then one of the boxes broke, so I have some more. So in total, I have 300 9 volt batteries. So that's obviously going to supply the power for this test. I also, of course, have welding rods. And of course, we need a piece of metal to weld with. Let's get started. All right, so one of the first steps that we're going to do is we're just going to decide where we're going to cut our metal. And for those of you that care, this is a this is mild steel. It's one square inch tube, and it is 1 16th of an inch thick for those of you that care. Obviously, we don't have to be very precise with this. So we're just going to kind of go We'll cut it, say there, and there. All right, so obviously we have our metal cut. They're not the same size. That really doesn't matter. We're just trying to weld, weld them together. So now that we have the metal cut, let's start hooking all our batteries together. All right, as you saw, we have all 300 batteries hooked up all together. So now I have made a little thing to show you how powerful all of these are hooked together. So it's very simple. What I've done is obviously I have my lead here that is negative. I just put a screw through this board to here. For the positive side, I have taped one of the leads with a copper nail to this piece of PVC. Then I will hook it up down here and then I can touch these together and show you how much power this is. All right, we're all hooked up. Now check this out. Oh, that actually doesn't look that impressive. All right, my bad, I had the batteries hooked up wrong. Let's try, go for try number two. All right, now let's see how much power we got. There we go. That's what I wanted to see the first time. Woo! Now let's go ahead and try and see if we can weld with that. Alright guys, so you guys have now seen how much power all these batteries have. So, let's stop talking about it and let's just do it. My plan is I'm just gonna put this ground right there in between them. That way it kind of holds them together and they can just sit Probably like that. And I'm gonna hook this to the ground on the batteries. I have my welding rods. And then my plan for this rod, just like I was doing before, I'm just gonna use this piece of PVC, is just clamp this on the end of here. I'll be able to put it on this piece of PVC pipe. And I know you guys can't even see what I'm doing right now. All right, that seems pretty perfect. Next step is to give it a shot. All right, I've got my welding helmet as you can see. So let's just do this thing. Can you weld with nine volt batteries? Three, two, one. Ooh. That didn't seem to work at all. That just kind of, oh, <clears throat> that smells horrible. Yeah, I don't think that's going to work. I'll try it again though. It keeps trying to get stuck, which kind of makes me a little nervous. Not even, not even a tack weld. Let's just be destructive and let's just hold it close to there and just see what happens. Oh, <laughs> now that was really cool. 
and it looks like it's just kind of burning the, the stick. All right, let's move on to something else. All right, so now that we know that you can't, that you can't really weld with 9-volt batteries, there's some other things that I want to test, and I'm just going to kind of drag you guys along. So I know this, is, this first one might sound kind of stupid to you guys, but what I want to know, if you just have one 9-volt battery, okay, so it's one 9-volt battery, it's 9 volts. If this battery was to get down to, say, 5 volts, and then I shocked it with all of the 299 batteries that are left, you know, if I just put the positive on one side and the negative, and just kind of like tapped the negative or put the negative on, just kind of tapped the positive a couple times, if it was at, say, 5 volts, would that little shock bring it up to like six or seven volts? And I don't, I don't really know the answer to that question. I'm thinking no, but I wanna try. So what we're gonna do, this, is, this battery's pretty much new, so we're gonna drain all the juice out of it. The way we're gonna do that is we're gonna turn it upside down and we're just gonna kinda squeeze and then we should start getting some juice out of it if we kinda massage it. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What we're gonna do, we are gonna drain all the juice out of it, but we're gonna use this blower motor, cut the ends off of this. I haven't even confirmed if this has enough power to run this fan. Oh, you can see that it does. These leads here will connect negative to the negative, positive to the positive, positive to this positive, negative to this negative. And then I'm just gonna let this run until this battery is pretty much dead and then we'll Test and see if we can put some more juice back into it. All right, so it's been probably about an hour and 45 minutes and this battery has way more juice in it than I thought because I figured that this fan, I figured it would have been dead by now. So I don't have all the time in the world. So we're gonna go ahead and call it quits there. Then we're gonna check the voltage of the battery, see what it's up to or down to, I should say. Let's see where we're at. We are at 7.61 volts. And that'll go up a little bit since there's no, no load on the battery. But, see now 7.62, 63. So 7.63 roughly will be our, kind of our guide as to where we're at right now. This black lead. We're gonna go to the negative of the battery. I'm gonna go to the negative to all the other batteries. I will still be wearing the welding helmets just in case something was to like, a, just in case like it explodes or something. So my face is protected. Connect this one down to our positive. And then I'm gonna to touch the positive just for a second, just, just a little bit. And then we'll check the voltage and see where it's at. Three, two, one. Okay, just that little tiny bit. We'll see where that gets us. So we were at 7.63, I believe. Just from that little touch. See where we're at. Seven point eight. So that's definitely an increase. So let's touch a little bit longer. See if we can get up, get up to eight, eight and a half, maybe nine. Let's go like three to five seconds. Three, two, one. Well, <laughs> that seemed uh, a little bit extreme. So let's check the voltage now, see where we're at. Oh, 7.9. Uh, it doesn't look like you can put you can put so it's kind of what I expected you can put a little bit of juice back into it but not that much all right so I can hear the comments now I know that obviously this battery is not rechargeable and I know that with the test that I just did the comments are gonna be flooded with people that are gonna say well this only didn't work because it wasn't a rechargeable battery so Guess what? I have a rechargeable battery and we're gonna do the same test with this one. So let's see how many volts this one has. All right, how many volts is it? 
1.292 volts. Okay. I think the standard voltage is 1.5. No, actually it's not. It's 1.2. So this battery is uh, fully charged. We're going to have to kill this battery just like we did the last one. So let's see if it even has enough power to operate this. <laughs> no. Not sure why this didn't occur to me before, but I have a flashlight that takes AA batteries. So, obviously, the best way to kill these batteries, even though I only need one, but the flashlight takes two, so we'll put two of these rechargeables in here, and then I'll just leave it on until they're dead. So it's been probably, probably about three hours. <clears throat> I don't even know if you can see in there, but there's basically nothing left. There's just barely enough light on the LED for me to be able to tell that it's on versus off. So let's check the voltage. Where are we at? Yeah. Really? So we are at 0 0.7, 0 0.790, 0 0.791. It'll probably continue to go up a little bit while it's, since there's not a load on it anymore. So we'll just say 0.8. We'll let it sit for a couple minutes and kind of stabilize, and then we'll take another reading. Then we'll see if we can, uh, like, supercharge it. So this battery's had a few minutes to stabilize. Let's see where we're at now. Eight point, it's going back and forth between 8.4, 0.84, and 0.839, 0.841. So about 0.84 is where we're at, kind of where it's stabilized at. So we'll remember that. This is, this side, of course, is the positive. So we're going to hook up the positive right there. I know this is a black wire, but it is going to be the positive. And I'm going to have to switch my leads around because my positive's on this side, my negative's on this side. So I'm going to have to hook the pole on this side and then hook this lead up on this side. So here's going to be my plan. On the 9-volt battery, whenever I held it on there for a long time, it just kind of started melting and was just kind of, you know, just melting the plastic and stuff. So with this one, what I'm going to try to do is just... Keep get, it's just like keep tapping it over and over and maybe I can that maybe that way I won't it won't melt or get too hot and it'll keep shooting the juice into there. It's probably actually not what's gonna happen. It's probably gonna do something crazy. Three, two, one. saw some bubbles. That is definitely not a good sign. No, it's not even hot. 0.84, it was going between what? 0.84 and 0.839. Let's see what it is now. Huh, 0.986. So it did get some life back. Let's see if we can get it back to um, 1.2. Watch, this will be the time that it explodes or something. We'll go, let's go five or six more times. See, see what that does. I'm gonna to try to not tap it in the same place like I did last time. Here we go. All right, <laughs> I feel like that's probably a, a pretty safe stopping point. Just barely warm. Just barely. <laughs> 1 1.1. I guess that proves it. You can charge a battery with 309 volt batteries, as long as it's a rechargeable one. I never would, never would have thought in a million years that that was gonna work. Honestly, I thought that as soon as I touched that battery with 309 volt batteries, I figured it would catch on fire, explode, or something crazy was gonna happen. I would have never guessed that it would have charged it up a little bit. I guess if you have a bunch of rechargeable nine volt batteries and you need to charge them really fast, just get 309 volt batteries, hook them together, you can charge them in what? What was that? 10 taps you can charge them? Really cool. All right, so we're done with the batteries and I just have one more thing that I wanna do because I know some of you guys wanna see this. We're gonna blow up the motor. We're gonna give this fan motor all 
300 nine volt batteries at once. Let's see if it can hold up. Take this two by four. Since because I kind of I kind of know what's gonna happen because I've I've done this before. If I give it all three all of the 300 nine volt batteries at once, then it's gonna have so much torque it's gonna want to just roll all over the place and or blow off the table or whatever. So I'm gonna tape it to this two by four because I doubt it'll have enough uh, force to move the two by four. If it does, that'll be incredible. We're gonna be using some of our nano tape because we know how strong it is. We can stick it to this board. Now, we're going to peel these wires back. And then, obviously, so I can do this safely, we're gonna have the negative, I have this two by four that I've just put two screws in. And then what I'm gonna do is take these wires and wrap the negative on one side and then wrap the positive on this side that goes to the motor. And then I'll clamp the uh, negative wire from the batteries here and then I'll have the positive on the pole that way I can just reach in and touch the screw and that'll give it power and then I'll be completely safe and then I got this negative right there all right as you can see I got the pole ready right here so three two one really did it even spin Oh no. Oh. Oh man. What's happening? Really? Is it just smoking? That's it? Let's try a couple less batteries and see if the motor's still good. All right. Well, the motor's dead. You can see I have one single battery hooked up over here. And then of course I have it hooked up to the pole. And you can see that nothing happens. Not even a slight little spin. So that kind of sucks. That was very underwhelming. All right, guys. Well, sorry that this motor was a letdown. I tried to do something cool for you, but it just didn't work out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I had a lot of fun making it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.